Okay folks, welcome back. In this tutorial we're going to be doing some motion transitions in After Effects. Uh, here's a quick glimpse of um, what we're going to be aiming for. Start with a the sign there, that moves off to the left, zoom into that shot there, and then pull down to the final shot. Let me just render it through for you so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Just a quick render now, there we go. So quite a nice little set of moves, fairly simple, again, very good for, you know, um, music videos, adverts, promos, anything where you want to do more than just straight edits or fades from shot to shot. Okay, so these are motion transitions. Let's just pause it there, I think you've had a good look at it, and I'm going to just um, delete the work that I've been doing, and we'll just sort of start again. Uh, from scratch. So let's just get rid of some of these layers. Bear with me. There we go. Let's get ourselves back to zero. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to start with going to layer, new and solid. And I'm going to create a black solid. I'm going to call that background. I'm going to duplicate it. And then the one on the top, I'm going to call outline then I'm going to go layer new solid again and this time I want a white solid click on OK let's call this place holder now the placeholder we put in between the outline and the background now the placeholder is going to be used to construct the animation largely because it's much quicker than working with video so we'll do the moves with the placeholder first then replace the placeholders with the video that we want later on. Right, select the outline and then making sure that the rectangle, oh, sorry not rectangle, the rounded mask has been selected, do a double click and that'll put a rounded mask on the outline. I'm just going to select, whoops, here. I'm just going to select those two points and then using my arrow keys I'm going to go in one, two, three, four. I'm going to select Deselecting it, sorry about that. I'm going to select these points, then using the arrow keys one, two, three, four. I'm going to select those two points there, and then go in one, two, three, four. And then select those two, and then go down one, two, three, four, just to create a nice border. We're going to click on that mask and just put it to subtract. And then we're actually going to go to Command C, click on the placeholder and copy that mask onto the placeholder as well. Um, on the placeholder, can you make sure you put the mask back to add? At the moment, you probably don't quite know why it is that we've done that, but it will become apparent a bit later. All right, let's close some of that stuff back up, tidy things up a bit. Um, can you make sure the placeholder is 3D by clicking there, or going to layer, 3D layer? I'm gonna lock those outline and background layers, we don't really want those uh, to be moved around. Right. Next step, layer, new, camera. 35, 50 mil, really doesn't matter. Click on that, and can you make sure folks that on the camera you go to layer, transform, auto orient, and put auto orientation off. Now, the trick with this is it looks like the video layers are moving, they're not. The video layers stay static. It's the camera that moves. Now to move the camera, you need to be using the C key. So just tap the C key on the keyboard and this will show you the different moves you can do with the camera. Click on the camera in the timeline and press P for position. We're gonna take the time marker to about half a second will do and we're going to set a keyframe. Now I'm going to just click on C again and scroll through the different types of move. We're going to start with this one which is a little circle with four arrows coming off it. This is the up, down, left, right move. I'm going to click, hold shift and drag that white image just to about halfway there. I'm then going to select the placeholder and duplicate it twice. I'm going to make sure I've selected both of those duplicate placeholders and then I'm going to pull them just over here like so 
then I'm going to press S to open the scale for both of them. I'm going to put the scale down to about 45 should do it. There we go. We've now got two images or two placeholders that have been duplicated. And as you can see, they've got lovely rounded edges. That's why we put the mask on them earlier, just to keep the nice rounded feel. Now I'm rushing this a bit, so you try and get them a bit more queued up, maybe a bit more flush and a bit more graphically in place than I'm doing here. Right, so there we go. Keyframe for the camera at half a second. Now I'm going to move forward to one second and let's see now, let's start with I'm going to just uh, press C again and I'm going to click and drag and we're going to go onto that larger image there. So let's look at our first move from zero. We start with half of the large image and two of the other images on the screen and we get to half a second and then we move like so. Now I want that to rest on the screen for another half a second so I'm going to click on that keyframe and go to Command C, Command V to copy it. And that means that at one second it's going to just hold in space for a little bit. I'm going to then go to two seconds and I'm going to make sure I've got my C key selected and again I'm going to click on that one. The little circle with the four little sort of arrows coming off it. Click, hold Shift and I'm going to drag over to here. Again, let's have a look at our move so far. We start there, we move to the larger image that holds for half a second, and then we move back to there. And I want that to hold for half a second as well, so I'm going to go forward half a second, select the keyframe, and just copy and paste it. So again, it just holds in space like so. I'm going to go forward another half a second. Now, on this occasion, I'm going to keep pressing C until I get this little icon. And that allows us to zoom in. So I'm going to zoom in like so. And it looks like I'm a little bit out there, but again, I'm rushing this. Take your time a bit more when you're doing it yourself. I'm going to press C again. Just hold Shift, move it across. Press C again, so we've got that little icon. Actually, no, sorry. I'm going to just press C again, so we've got that. Click and drag upwards. And there's the video. Now, I want that to hold on screen. In fact, let's go back and have a look at our move so far. So we're going along there. That holds. Go along there. That holds. Go along there. And we want this one to hold for half a second. So again, I'm just going to click on that and copy it back. And then I think we'll go to four seconds and click and drag down. Our final move will be just to scroll down and look at this last piece of video here. Right. Let's just play, take that back and have a look at the animation. Not too bad. Fairly basic, but once you get the hang of moving the camera, it really looks good with video attached. Right, on which point, let's attach the video to those placeholders. So. To apply a piece of video to the placeholder, click on the placeholder, grab a piece of video, then using the Alt key, click on Alt and pull it onto the placeholder layer. And it now replaces the placeholder with the video. I think, actually, I've just missed that. I don't know. Let's try that again. Click on the placeholder layer, hold Alt, drag over. That's better, with a better shot of it that time. Select that one, hold the Alt key, click and drag it over. Again, missed it again. Gonna, oh no, did go on, sorry. Rushing that a bit too much. Pull that over there. Click on that one. And then finally, pull that one onto there. Right, not too bad. Okay. Here it goes. Yeah, not too bad at all. They're fairly simple moves, and all we've really done, if you just look at the timeline, is we've moved the camera. 
Again, it looks like the video layers are moving, but they're not. What's actually moving is the camera. They've just been arranged in space, and the camera is moving left, right, up, down, around the video layers. Okay, folks, give it a go yourselves. Good luck. See you in the next tutorial.